Hi ladies and girls, we are back with another video and y'all already know it is favorites time. We are not going to make this intro long, but I just want to welcome my new subscribers. Thanks so much for coming in and hitting that button and hitting the notification bell because it's going to let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just know for every favorites video, I do post an Ipsy giveaway, so don't forget to look in the description box down below and enter. But without further ado, let's get into these favorites. The struggle is real in terms of my hair growth. I have been using this again, and it is the Nioxin Intensive Therapy Hair Booster. It is targeted technology for areas of advanced thin looking hair. So it is really good for around the perimeter of the hair, which are the edges. And I also use this in the in the scalp because it does promote hair growth. It just gives it a boost. So it's not claimed to like just change your life and everything, but it does help stimulate the circulation on the scalp, the blood flow, that type of thing. So I have been really using this the last couple of days since that video i pulled this out because one of you guys reminded me hey have you been using the nioxin and i was like i've been lazy no so i have been scrunching this in my hair every night and every morning and it is great also for twist outs it's a great moisturizing and seal sealing duo so i really do enjoy this it smells so good it smells like pure cocoa butter but uh i really do enjoy the oyen whipped putting my embryo lease this duels as a moisturizer and primer i am wanting to put this probably in my next project pan but look how much i have used and i am so so glad this is the type of product if you are a makeup artist you want it in your kit just because it is phenomenal for moisturizing and priming and it's good for all skin types i would think even for oily skin i just use a little bit of this but it really preps the skin before applying anything on it. And I really do enjoy this. The next moisturizer, I am, I love moisturizers. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but I love them. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I don't know if I talked about this last month, but if I did, I liked it again. And it is, it's, I wouldn't say it's super thick, but it is pretty good. It is the price, it's along the price um, of the L'Occitane Comfort Cream Light. I actually like that one better. It's just silkier on the skin. It absorbs a lot better, surprisingly, than the Kiehl's. It's around the same price. You get a little bit more in the L'Occitane, I believe, than this one. You get 1.7 ounces, the, that one I get. I think you get 1.8 and that one's 29. I want to say this is 29 as well from, where do you get this from? You can get this from the website, you can get it from the Kill Store, or you can even get it from Sephora. That's what I wanted to say. But I really do enjoy this, but I like the L'Occitane better. I'm just saying, but still, this has been a favorite for the month of February for me. This is from Danessa Myricks beauty and this is her prism hydrating lotion this is looks so so beautiful under the skin i i'm wearing it today and i feel like it gives such a beautiful pearlescent glow this is like max strobe cream times five okay i really do enjoy this i'm so glad that i was able to try this and it smells really good so i really did enjoy this product in the month of February as well. Okay, so in the month of February in my everyday makeup drawer, I don't know if you guys check out, I do actually organize, declutter, do that kind of thing for my everyday makeup drawer. I'll link a playlist over here so you guys can check it out, but I use black owned businesses. And so of course they were my favorites. So one of the favorites is of course my girl, Andrea Renee collabed with, oh, that's not, that's not her. Um, she collabed with Peach and Pearl and I was able to get these and these were very affordable. And these are cruelty free and vegan brushes. This brush reminds me so much of my Sigma F80. I'm so glad I got this brush in the collection and you get about six brushes, I believe. 
I did not know I was gonna love this. This brush is really good for cream contour. This one amazing for highlight. Like I use this for my La Peach. <laughs> that is so good. But um, this is a great powder brush and yeah. So these brushes, I think the only one I didn't use was the eyeliner. Love this pencil brush. I use it to smoke out the blue eyeshadow and the other colors under my lash line. And this is the only one that I didn't use just because I did not use a gel liner tonight. So I really do enjoy these brushes and I believe that they're still available. I will leave a link down below. But yes, I love these and I was supposed to take a picture of these while they were clean, but I'm gonna have to clean them and then I'll take a picture, but these are amazing. Something that I am learning about myself is that I love functional makeup and I'm probably gonna come with a video about functional makeup, but I love this. This is a palette that Makeup Shayla did back in the day with Tarte and I love this palette. I use this as bronzer, contour, under my eye, highlighter, blush, and this is a shimmering bronze. This is perfect for vacation, perfect for the spring, perfect for on, on the go. I love the packaging. It's gold, it's beautiful, and yeah, love that. It's not available anymore, um, but Tarte is always surprising with uh, us with stuff, and I really like that collaboration with Makeup Shayla. I love the fact that her collaborations have been on point. Let me just say, whether it's been Tarte or Maybelline, I'm just saying, last month was the City Mini palette. That thing is the jam. If you have not picked that up, I'm just saying, I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. I'm just telling you that it's good. Okay. Jackie, 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 you did this, girl. Mama Jackie, Glam Mom, you did this. Do y'all see this? I don't, do y'all, let me just move my hair back yes i have nothing in my collection like this like this yes and i use andrew renee's brush and it just did something to my, i just mm, y'all i mean that's that wakandan glow you know what i'm saying it looks so so good i am really feeling this la peach you know what this made me as soon as i put it on i was like y'all if all my highlighters went away and this one I kept, I would be good. I would, seriously, I would be so good. You did your thing right here, Glam Mom. And um, I know that you partnered up with Artist Couture. I just wanna congratulate you because this is awesome. I know your collaboration was, uh, the first one was with Elf and now Artist Couture. I think this is your second because you did LeBron's, but girl, La Peach is Le Thing, okay? Le Bomb. Let me talk about this Alyssa Ashley lip gloss. I have talked about this on Snapchat. I've talked about this on Instagram stories. This stuff is the bomb. It's what I have on my lips right now in conjunction with my minted lipsticks, Pretty in Pink. I love these. I'm telling y'all, if you don't want to spend the quaint for Audacious Lipsticks by NARS, I'm telling you, these are creamy. These are so good. They're pigmented. They're beautiful. They're cruelty-free, vegan, and no, NARS is not cruelty-free or vegan. So if you want to go that route, I'm telling you, you're not missing anything. It has the packaging of MAC, but to me, it has, this is high-end um, at its best. And it is a black-owned business, but this stuff is my jam. I love their lip glosses. I have been loving Bury Me and Mauve Over. Those are my two favorite. This one is Baby Brown, but I have been loving these lip glosses. Okay, so I don't want to bombard you with too many products, but let me talk about these. Uh, let me talk about the Beauty Bakery Powder. I have not put this in a review yet because I do want to compare some powders with this, but I really, really like this beauty bakery powder this is their flower setting powder in yellow this is so good i use it under my eyes it is not drying but i like i like it it's like the perfect yellow it's not too bright it's not too yellow it's not too stark and it's not too golden you know what i mean and it just sets and it it smooths and blurs I like it so so much so yeah really been loving that I have been loving this blush this is the Too Faced 
Love Flush Blush. This is their 16 hour blush and baby love. I have it on today, but this is the perfect, like, if I don't know what to wear, using this blush, it's so amazing. It's probably in the next blush that I am gonna hit pan on. I love the sheen, I love the color, love the packaging, I love Too Faced. Spoiler alert, the Beauty Bakery concealers, I really do like. They are a bit drying, but if you put them on one at a time, you're good. These set, I really did not have to use a powder to set. That's the thing I love about these. These are the Cake Face Concealers. I have it in the shade Don't Give a Frappe and Pro Caffeinated. Pro, -ca Pro Caffeinating. And I really, really do enjoy these. They, like I said, they are, they dry very quickly. Not that they're drying under the eye. They just dry very quickly under the eye. I did not have to set it. If you have dry under eye, you will not have to use a powder with this. But mine are okay. I just feel like um, I would not set. I set. I set tonight with it just because I wanted some brightness. But I really don't. So just make sure you get your perfect shade or your, you know, concealer shade if you want to do that this is so good this Nubian 2 palette I love I love this more than the masquerade and the masquerade is for the pops of color I really do like that one but I, I don't know I just love let me tell you I have on Morocco I have on Mor Morocco Madagascar Nefertiti and I have on Kenya so I have on this one this one this one and this one Oh, I have on, oh, and Nefertiti, that color. So I have on one, two, three, four, five. So I have on five colors out of this on my eyes. I love this palette. I feel like this is like, if you're wanting to get into colors, this is a safe place for you to go and also get some good neutrals in here, but some like different types of neutrals like Madagascar is like that paint it's like a peanut butter that's what it makes me it reminds me of a peanut butter this morocco shade is an orangey like warm tone it will look so so beautiful on deep skin tones these are the type of neutrals that women of color need you know what i mean so i really do enjoy this and yeah these iman foundation sticks i love i have it on today did not realize i was going to love it love it as much when i got these because i got these on sale Yes, this is products and I wanted, I've always wanted to try hers, but her stuff is pretty pricey in the drugstore. Can the church say amen? So I have Sand 4, which is my shade. Love this. I don't feel like you get as much product. It reminds me of the Anastasia packaging, but I like these better. I did not like this Anastasia formulation of theirs. It was a bit more drying. You do, if you have dry skin or you have normal skin, I highly recommend prepping the skin priming and moisturizing before you do that but this is an earth one i really do enjoy these i use this to, to bronze like contour it's a warm it's like a neutral shade because i can contour and bronze with this so i really do like that and i do like using cream contour so um that's my jam okay so let's get into these beauty bags the first thing i want to talk about is ipsy this is the luxie 249 I love this brush love this brush um, I love that it's dual ended I would take this on vacation with me because this look is a great concealer brush it's a great blending brush it's a great flat brush it's a great blending under the eye to blow out that you know that um, lower lash line but you could also define the crease I think this is a perfect perfect like shape Especially if you have a hooded eyes, you're gonna love something like this. So, thumbs up on this one from Ipsy. I really like this. This is that rose gold that I showed you. By the way, I did do an Ipsy try on. So, if you want to check out any of the, if you want to check out any of these products in action, I will leave a link over here so you guys can check it out. But yes, to the dress on this one. This is the Radiant Glow and 24 karat magic i really like this i don't really have anything in my collection like this i don't believe especially that i love the fact that it is compact as well and it's mini 
I really like these in my makeup bag just because they are small and compact. And uh, no, it doesn't have a mirror, but I really do like this anyway. Packaging, a yes to the dress, to this packaging for February. And let's see, Pure Fully Charged. It, this is not a horrible mascara, but it's okay. It does the job. It's not what I'm gonna go for the best of the best, but no. This really surprised me though. This is the Marsk. This is their foiled again. This is in foiled again. This is a like mineral eyeshadow. I love this. This was a really nice pop of color. I really did enjoy this. And yes, um, I'm gonna keep this around. So that's one, two, three, four. And then the fifth item was the body scrub that's still in my bathroom i did not use that to be honest with you guys so i cannot give you a review on that but yeah uh hopefully i'll do better next month in using all the products that's the only product that i did not use so i'm not gonna give a review on that and yeah like i said i will be giving one of these away uh, the beauty bag and it's a mystery y'all y'all don't know what you're gonna get so just stay tuned. Let's move on to the boxy charm. And I can tell you right now, I can tell you right now that I love the pure. This is the Exfo Lips Plumping Lip Exfoliator. This is really, really good. I was using it on camera and off, and it is really a really nice lip exfoliator. It's not too abrasive on the lips. It makes it really smooth once you wipe it off. And I feel like my lips are very smooth and they're very, you know, very plump after using this because it does a couple of things. So I really did enjoy this. Next, let's talk about this Naked Cosmetics. This is their holographic or holo, yeah, holo, what is it? Their holo, holographic highlighter collection. I really do enjoy this. I like this a lot. And I want to say that um, I don't like the fact that it does not have a mirror. I feel like if you're going to have a palette like this, have a mirror. Okay. You need to have a mirror, especially if you want us to go hollow. Okay. These are not the typical type of colors, but I really did like this because it has every hollow that you can think of. It has blue, uh, yellow, green, pink, purple. And then it has a dual chrome pink purple over here with the blue shift. So I really do like these and it makes me, I like how compact this is, but it does need a mirror. But uh, for what it's worth, I would definitely use these as eyeshadows. I like it because um, it has a pop of something. And like I said, these would be great for prom or those type of things. I could actually put it, pop it in the inner corner and it would totally change the this look right here. But I did enjoy this. Love this. This is the cover FX. This is an Anthemus. This is the Shimmer Veil. It is a like cream eyeshadow. I really do like this. Um, cover FX makes some great products. So I really did enjoy this. And the brushes were good. I really did enjoy these as well. The only one that I didn't use was this one, which I could have used tonight for contour, but I didn't. Last product was the eye pencil, which honestly, I like mechanical now, but I do have some other pencils that I just love. And it kind of got lost in the shuffle if you look at my BoxyCharm try on. So yeah, four out of five out of this box, I did enjoy, so yeah. So those are my favorites for the month of February. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments what you've been loving in February, what you've been reaching for, just like your number one, your favorite products. What was your favorite makeup item? Please subscribe if you hadn't already and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out and enter the giveaway down below. I'll talk to you guys soon in another video. Bye loveys.